All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in again to your local locksmith, Urban Lock and Key, coming at you with another programming video. Today we are working on a Lexus IS300. <clears throat> Just blocking out the customer's license plate for safety and security purposes. Customer has requested to have a an additional four button smart key program to the vehicle. This is the one that's already currently programmed, <clears throat> and this is the one we'll be adding to the system. All right. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is go ahead and power up the gauge cluster, so we can get all modules functioning properly. <clears throat> we are working with the AutoPad Pro Lite today. Let's go ahead and get this connected. I must say this programmer, since I've owned it for two years now, has been a very sequential piece of machinery for the company. <clears throat> it is a great key starting programmer and being open two years now it has pretty much taken care of all the business it needs to. Alright so what we're going to do first is we're going to go into US Toyota, <clears throat> hit agree, just follow the prompts accordingly. Uh, this is one of the relatively simple processes most of the time. Go ahead and hit key by type. Smart key system and auto, pro auto ID should be a prox 5. <clears throat> Let's wait for it to load. Okay. So what the first thing we're going to do, this button right here is the, can you see it? This button right here that's your hazard light button. So let's press, turn the hazards on and press the brake pedal. Now we're going to go ahead and hit the OK button. We're going to add a smart key. Just follow the prompts accordingly. Take the uh, program smart key and place it to the start stop button, like such. As you can tell, use a new smart key, place it in the start stop button. All right, it beeped. And once the program has been successful, now what you want to do is back out, make sure we don't have any communication interference. We're going to turn the hazard lights back off, turn the gauge cluster off, let the body control module reset right quick, and we're going to step out of the vehicle and check the remotes to make sure that everything was programmed accordingly. This is the customer's original remote. As you can see, it has the key on it. The vehicle is unlocked. Push the button to lock the car. All right. This is the new remote. Let's go ahead and do the yellow trunk. All right. There you have it. If this video has been helpful to you, like and subscribe to the channel. I will be leaving my email in the comments below. If there's any questions that you might have for any videos or you need any help with anything or any tutorials, please feel free to leave me a comment below or to shoot me an email. As always, thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos.